Hey guys, Oz Grills here. Today we're going to do a video on how to remove the background behind you with a green screen and some lights and with your Streamlabs OBS. Let's get into it. Oh, I'm a bit more comfortable now guys out of that suit. I thought I'd um, yeah, bring a bit of class to the channel for once, but uh, in reality I wore the suit for work and then I thought I might as well do a shot with it. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So first things first, uh, we do streaming tutorial videos on Streamlabs OBS and OBS in general. We do uh, tutorials on Twitch, uh, the Twitch dashboard. We do design videos like how to create your own sub badges and emotes for free um, and how to upload them. So check that out. And we have a podcast called Talking Corner where we go over techniques on how to grow your stream um, as well as just having some fun talking trivia, talking gaming, you know, Xbox vs PlayStation, um, a lot of things there. So if any of that tickles your fancy, please give me a sub. Um, I'd very much appreciate it. We have 48 videos now, uh, plenty more to come on all different ways that you can help your stream or to make it easier or cheaper for you. So yeah, let's get with this video guys, anyway. All right guys, so I am here in Streamlabs OBS and what we're gonna do is you go down to your webcam you right click on that and then you go to filters and here I am here with no background behind me so to do that what you need to do is add a chroma key so we're just going to disable this one here and um, so there we go we are green again so as you can see my green screen isn't the best um, like it's not 100% the same color it's a bit creased you know I've got two softbox lights here and here you don't need them, one light, as long as you light the green screen up, you know, it's going to be okay. Um, so what we want to do is we want to hit this little add button. And we'll go to filter type and you go down to chroma key. And just name it chroma key if you like, or whatever you want. You're done. Then we're back here. So back to nothing because we're basic. Hit green, basic green behind us. It's taken it out already. Um, if you have... Now there's a bit of hazing there, so we'll just make it like that. So if I go down to say 373 here, you can kind of see a bit of fuzziness behind me because we don't have enough. So you need to move your similarity up you know, to get rid of it. You don't want to do too much. So if you do too much, you know what I mean? So usually a lot of the time I have this one on and you get bright on your face and it goes through your face. Um, for me, 400 is probably the best one. Um, so it can change. So you've got to play around with them to try and get that clear black behind you. And you can play around with contrast and brightness too. So I like to turn the brightness down a bit. Um, because it reflects off my face a lot. So it makes me a lot wider than what I already am. So that's probably, you know, about my normal color, I guess. Still very white. Um, so you can try and play around with that a bit. Like smoothness as well. You know, see how it changes there. And then you can see down here as well in the corners here so it doesn't look great for the stream so you want to try and you want to try and get it as good as you can and then obviously when you're down here it lets me so yeah so see kind of really big you can see a bit of fuzz but you're not going to have your camera this big unless you're on just chatting or something anyway so you want to try and get it as close as you can if you have bad equipment um, just make sure you got the green lit up as much as you can um, try and get it consistent green and then play around with the settings as well like I used to have a lot worse didn't have any lights now the two soft boxes so it's not too bad um, but just fill around with it guys so you got to go to your Logitech or whatever camera you have right click filters so it's in your sources right click and filters and then add chroma key and that is how you do it Hi right, guys, well thanks a lot for watching that video. I hope it made sense on how to remove the green screen. Um, ask away if it didn't. You know, I'm happy to make another video if this is really terrible. Um, let, me just, you know, let me know how it went. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a like. Share it to your friends who have trouble with their green screens or someone who is looking at setting it up. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you like the video and you want more content. So as I said, we've got 47 videos on here. Um, you know, check them out. Some are a bit outdated, like my old green screen one, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you can check out my Twitch below in the description as well. Um, you know, just come check me out there as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great one.